He's a chef and owner of three restaurants, two in New York City and one in Atlantic City. He was crowned champion of season three of Food Network's The Next Iron Chef. In 2012, he received his third Michelin star, making him the youngest American-born chef and owner to receive the honor in consecutive years. And now he is the author of his first book, Mark Forgione, Recipes and Stories from the Acclaimed Chef and Restaurant. Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to have you here. What's your favorite recipe in the book? It's tough when people ask me that, my favorite recipe, my favorite dish, but I think that the dish that is the best way to kind of get to know me and get to know the restaurant is probably our chili lobster. You know, we, we serve it in the shell. It's spicy. It, it gets all over you. People obviously, you know, get dressed up to come to the restaurant, and when you have a dish like this, you, to put you know, we, we serve little bowls of water on the it's, side. It kind of lets you relax and say, okay, this, you know, they're having fun with us here. And so in the, in the recipe, there is uh, four uh, one-and-a-half-pound lobsters, there's lobster stock that you can make, a quarter of a cup of sriracha. There's chopped fresh ginger, chopped onion. I might make this this weekend. <laughs> Just serve it with lots of bread because you, you want to soak up all the sauce. <laughs> what did you want your readers to learn about you by writing this book? So I think some people maybe just thought that, you know, I just kind of waved a wand and opened a restaurant and I was successful and it couldn't have been farther from the truth. I, you know, I opened the restaurant in the worst time in the history of the country (laughs) to open a restaurant. So, um, you know, I was the dishwasher, the butcher, I mean, everything. Um, And I just, I want people to know that, especially younger cooks who, you know, a year in, if they're not doing so good, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. and If you believe in yourself, right. if you have a good idea, you can stick it out. And stay true to what you're doing. You know, swinging for the fences uh, work. Then don't get me wrong, sometimes it doesn't work. But, you know, in our case, it's Well, uh, here's it a worked. recipe that looks so good to me. My mouth is watering. It's truffle stuffed Bell and Evans chicken with a natural jus. Yeah, it's a fun one for a holiday. The chicken list looks so succulent. And there's a picture of just part of the breast with the crispy skin and the truffle stuffing right under the skin <laughs> and it makes you want to make that particular recipe maybe this weekend i have some truffles cool well, let me know how it comes out yeah i will i'm going to say goodbye to our guest mark Forgione. please pick up a copy of his beautiful book recipes and stories from the acclaimed chef and restaurant as i said i there's now four things i've seen four <laughs> things but i just uh, going through it that I am going to make this weekend. Well, let me know how it works out. I will. Thank you so Definitely. much for having me. Well, thank you so much for coming.